boys welcome to episode number nine and in this episode i want to use my gold and rotten flesh from the gold farm level three and get lots of emeralds because i want to get some enchantments i want to get lots of enchantments i want to get those villages that sells uh cords and bricks blocks because uh in the mega base i would need some some of those blocks to make random decorations make some cool stuff inside it and actually stop using wood for buildings because i'm actually tired of wood i feel a bit confused because i've been i've been working on some projects but i've i was confused a little bit on some stuff but let's not get too distracted i'm gonna get those chalker boxes and start filling them with rotten flesh hello gold from it's fun to be back here mm, rotten flesh lots of rotten flesh oh no i'm gonna have a hard time filling those rotten flesh uh give me that give me that money oh finally about the rotten flesh so right here is 18 shulker boxes from just one rotten flesh storage is that crazy so let me check all the boxes that i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. It's not filled, but it's okay. We got 17 boxes and this amount, which I don't really care because I got so much. And this gold too, man. You don't you don't know how much gold I'm gonna get out of this. Okay, please, please, no creepers. No creepers. Uh, every time I get out of this farm, there's a creeper waiting for me. <sighs> for now, I wanna actually spend time on the trading hall and get more cleric villagers so I can grind more villagers so I can actually have extra emeralds and stuff because having five cleric villagers would not be efficient so I need to get like two layers of cleric villagers because I had I have like millions of rotten flesh Wait, don't tell me I don't have fireworks Oh no Oh uh, no Oh no, I don't have fireworks Oh, uh, thank god I have skyfolding <laughs> It's my last firework and we're back to the base <laughs> they call me smart boy nine stacks of game powder oh i need to get back to the sugarcane farm hello scaffolding ah. Wee. let me see how good i am Wee. Da, 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 da. hey yo sugarcane give me that oh, what, what? Oh, oh yeah there we go and now we walk i kind of like to walk a little bit i haven't actually walked in this world for like so long i've been flying i'm a fat boy i've been eating for so long i haven't done any routines i need to do some sports skyfold exercise let's go Whee! lots of fireworks and now we're back to the lazy mood all right now we're gonna work on the trading hall let's go I might just keep recording while the air conditioner is on because I feel heated. I'm gonna sweat while making videos. I hate that. I'm just hoping the air conditioner won't ruin my microphone. But anyways, I got this trading hall. I got lots of villagers. I got more villagers here. We got three stone mason villagers and uh, a weaponsmith and toolsmith and uh, armor. Hey cat, what are you doing? Get out of here. Alright, so we're gonna trade with 18 cleric villagers for the first trade. And we're gonna see how much emerald we're gonna get out of them. Using the rotten flesh and the gold too. I might not spend all the gold that I have. But maybe I will just use a little bit to stop the villagers. I wanna see the limitations on these cleric villagers for the first trade. Hello there. Let's go. Oh, I can't trade with these villagers. I need some rotten flesh. Time to upgrade those villagers. Upgrade. And you upgrade. Okay. Give me more rotten. Oh, I don't have rotten flesh anymore. Uh, it's just two last villagers. I need to refill this box. Da -da 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 -da. Villager 17 upgrade. And villager 18. Yeah. 
So I only traded with 8 cleric villagers only using the gold and I got 2 stacks and 40 emerald. I'm pretty glad. Let's keep it up. Imagine using gold to get emerald. <laughs> I'm one of those crazy players. So with 18 villagers, I got this amount. Now it's time for rotten flesh trading. We're gonna see how much we're gonna get. Four stacks, emeralds, and eight from only rotten fleshes. And I don't think that's total because I actually trade with some of them to upgrade them. So I don't think that's total. Maybe it's five stacks. I don't know. Okay, for the first raid of trading, we got this amount of emerald in total. Eight stacks and 28 emeralds for the first raid. When I say raid, I mean like trading all the villagers until they can't trade anymore. Don't get me wrong, all right? And I might stay longer here and uh, trade with those villagers until I get like maybe five stacks of emerald blocks. Maybe more, I don't know. Always prepare yourself for some items because I, if I die in this world, I would need emeralds already. So I can trade all the enchantments and prepare myself before I die somewhere or maybe lose all my items. Cleric villagers are pretty useful. Just for me because I have the gold farm. So trading montage, let's go. So I finished all the written flesh boxes that I had and used this gold in this box and the total amount is this 3 stacks emerald blocks and 3 I wasn't actually expecting that um, maybe I should go back to the gold farm and grab more written flesh than this because all these boxes wasn't enough to actually get all that emerald and also I have a problem with the lack of motivation I don't really get motivated to record anymore sometimes so I just sit and play other games and do other stuff and maybe I'll just get faster later and maybe actually spend a whole month of speed work. So I hope I can stop myself from being depressed sometimes and actually play the game. But I'm pretty happy about this upgrade. But I won't do more progress with the villagers right now. I want to actually do something in this world. There's something that I was actually thinking about for so long. I want to kill the weather boss and get a beacon in this world. But the thing is, I'm kind of scared because it's hard mode. And if I try to fight the weather boss, I will just die immediately. So maybe there's a plan to kill the weather boss. Maybe I can kill him in the end and trap him like how we did in Java Edition But I haven't I haven't played Java Edition that much. <laughs> I don't have a PC I play on this phone and I did all my footage That's why they look ugly sometimes because you know iMovie doesn't allow better quality sometimes I don't know what's going on with it So the plan is simple going to the nether fortress and kill lots of wither skeletons and get the and get the skeleton heads Because this loading sword will help me a lot <laughs> man if I go to the nether fortress and kill those wither skeletons I might just die I don't have a totem of undying. Going to the nether. Going to the nether. Ah, I hate this. Oh. And we're here to the fortress. Actually, the blaze farm. I have to like make my way up here without actually breaking the farm. Oh, we did it. Okay. Let's fight. Ow. Ah, no. They don't actually hurt me that much. How many times I said actually? Magma? What? How do you get inside? Oh, I got a hit! Yes! Oh, no, 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 I'm dying, actually. Come on, give me a hit. Yes, another hit! Oh, that took me long. Yes! Yeah, three skeletons! Three skeleton heads required, finally. Let me check my recording. Let me check how long I've been killing those skeletons. Oh, <laughs> maybe it wasn't that long. <laughs> Look at these resources. Let's fly back to the base. Finally, wait, wait. Oh, I thought my elytra broke. I was gonna fall to the lava. I'm back to the base, and we have three skulls. I just need some soul sand, and I will go to the end and start actually killing the water boss to get that lighty beacon. Soul sand, and we're gonna need lots of water buckets for the wither killing chamber. We. Alright, come here, skill heads. We're gonna go to the adventure. We're going to the nether again because I have to go to the end portal. Hey. No. I'm pretty excited for the nether star. Hooga booga looga booga! Alright, let's start walking in the killing chamber and then we're gonna kill the weather boss.
and the water boss killing chamber is done and I'm so scared <laughs> I want to place this head but I'm afraid that I have to actually fight them if he actually get out of this killing chamber but this is my first attempt and we're gonna try it in three two one let's go oh yes it worked is he is he getting out please don't get out oh my god it worked <laughs> let's go we're gonna watch him can I actually hit him though Oh, I can. I can hit him. I can make it faster. Let me get closer. <laughs> he can't do nothing. He's just watching me. Let me jump. No! Oh, no! Oh, that got me scared. <laughs> Kill them all. Oh, Wither Roses. That's so cool. Can I get those? Thank you. Now I gotta keep hitting him. Hit him. Attack! Attack the boss. And he's dead. Yes! We got Wither Roses for free, though. We're gonna wait. And the nether star is required. Let's go. We can make the beacon. We can make the shiny lighting beacon. <laughs> Hello, Enderman. <laughs> so cute. Okay, let's go back home and make the beacon. All we need is glass. Okay, there we go. And beacon. Yes. Woohoo, beacon. Oh, I needed beacon for so long. I want to do something pretty quick. I have one material chest full of these items, but I got lots of diamonds and that storage and I want to put it here. I want to make another material chest number two and put my new resources into this chest. I'm going to put the beacon right here so I can remember it. Look at these tasty diamonds. But those deep slate right here, I will put choco boxes for every single deep slate I have. Because when I think about my projects, I will have deep slates every time. And also for the mega base too. Because the mega base is going to be a little bit complicated. I would like to build the most complicated mega base in the world. It's like full of insane decorations and impossible builds. To make the mega base look so great. And you know, to make a great thumbnail out of it. To get people attention. <laughs> I'm just so smart. And material chest 2 is here. All the diamonds, all the redstone, and the lapis. Everything is beautiful. Now, because I have the beacon, I want to do something pretty cool. I want to go underground mining. I want to do some underground mining using the beacon and get lots of cobblestone and some resources too. But I'm gonna have a problem with the torches. I don't have that much torches. I don't have that much torches, so I'm, I might go to the villagers and buy those lanterns and actually just use them instead of the torches. Because coal is kinda stupid in Minecraft, okay? I hate coal. I wish I can make light out of blaze wards, but, you know, I can't do that. I would wanna make night vision potions, but, you know, mobs gonna attack me and blow up my shulker boxes. But don't worry about anything, we got the beacon, we're gonna go find the area we wanna gonna mine in. Into the old base, I have to go... I have to go back to the old base and actually start mining there. My old base is kind of useful because this mining section and also the enchanting room, which I want to remove later, but meh. Am I really interested to remove it? I don't care. Let's fly down. Okay, this is a good space. I need to go a little bit higher maybe. Uh, this is a good space actually. Let's just start. Let's just start from here. Oh, there's a problem too. I only have one netherite pickaxe to mine all that cobblestone. So I should, I should gather some pickaxes and upgrade them. And maybe go mining again. <laughs> I'm not gonna use one beacax to get all that cobblestone. That's stupid. Maybe I'm making it too complicated. Let's just let's just mine the hole, replace the beacon, and then go to the villagers and make more beacaxes, and then mine for real. The gold is so helpful. I got too much of it. Of course, I'm gonna use it. Three blocks and a beacon. Let's go. Oh, <clears throat> I have to mine the sky. I need to let the beacon have sky access. And I forgot to do that the whole time. Alright. Oh, it's on my base? Oh, no. Uh, I mean, it's kind of cool, though. Okay, let's get down. And beacon activate. Yeah. Now we're going to get some big axes and enchant them. And then grind for a little bit. Let's do that for the whole montage. Three, two, one, go.
so I did a bit of mining in this cave and uh, <laughs> holy jeez it's like one of these days when I need to finish a redstone project but I don't have that much cobblestone so I mined the whole cave <laughs> holy me that's just so much cobblestone in my opinion but anyways I'm gonna show you how much cobblestone I got shotgun number one shotgun number two shotgun number three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And on this chocolate, I got some diamonds. That's pretty cool. Now I can work on my redstone projects without dealing with cobblestone. Cobblestone is like the most important item in Minecraft. And also, I haven't showcased my pickaxes. Look at these pickaxes that I have here. I got fortune maximum GD pickaxes with full speed and mending and breaking everything on it. And those shilk GD pickaxes. I call them GD pickaxes because, you know, I am not a GD. It's, it, it's, like, it's like my name, but they, but they are... Yeah, you know what? Just go with it. <laughs> I gotta fix those pickaxes on my gold farm. So let's go to the gold farm and fix my pickaxes and commentate about something else. We dealt with a cobblestone problem. Whee! Hello, gold farm. It's time to fix my tools. Whee! Get all the fortune pickaxes and let's activate the farm. And also take off my armor so I can get full experience on my pickaxes. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, so much speed! It took seconds to fix my pickaxe. Dang. Let's count how many seconds I need to fix the other pickaxe. So it took 40 seconds to fix the other pickaxe. That's kinda crazy. If you're wondering how I got to level 460, I was actually AFKing at the farm while sleep. Because when I finished creating the pickaxes and going mining, I got a little bit sleepy, so I AFK'd here and got a little bit of levels. But after fixing my pickaxes, I will go to the village and grind more emeralds. Because I want to see how many emeralds I can get. I want to take so many rotten flesh from this storage and actually trade with them. I want to go crazy. I'm so close. Yeah. Let's turn off the farm now. Oh, the pickaxe is fixed. I'm going to go to the base and see how many cobblestone I got. Wait, I don't have armor. Wait, wait. Oh, <laughs> I don't have armor on. Ooh, imagine if I get killed by a creeper without armor. Let's go back to the base. Whee! I called my boxes so I can recognize the items inside them. This black box filled with fireworks, and these boxes filled with good stuff. And this one filled with redstone. This one is filled with wood, but I forgot to get the brown thing because I have to go to the jungle and get some brownies. But maybe I got them already. Oh, <laughs> there, there they are. Cocoa beans. Let me color the wood box. Boom. It's gonna be a bit complicated if I try to get the cobblestone and uh, fill these storages. I'm gonna go to that storage where I filled my deep stone. Yep. Chest full of cobblestone. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get these achievements. <laughs> That's so cool. Five large chests of cobblestone. Who needs this much cobblestone? Me, of course, because I'm crazy. In every survival world I want to play on, I would need this much cobblestone for any project. I am Nanajidi. Welcome to this episode. Let's not get too distracted because we gotta go do some trading with the villagers and get lots of rotten flesh, lots of gold, lots of emerald, lots of money. So let's do a bit of a fun time lapse on the trading and then I will show you the total amount of emerald. Another montage with Nanajidi. D, let's go! <laughs> And after three hours, we got this million dollar. Nah, I'm joking. It's just emeralds. I got so much emerald, I can trade all day and AFK and just trade and AFK and just trade. And I also upgrade the village. I got nine more cleric villagers. So now I have 27 cleric villagers in total so I can trade faster and not wait for long and expect more trades. I was a bit tired because I wasn't really feeling motivation to record this clip to end the video actually. Because I'm close to finishing this video by one clip. So anyways... All I did in this episode is upgrade the villager hut and get more cleric villagers and grind tons of emerald 
and get the beacon actually in this episode the purpose of this episode is the beacon all i wanted to do is get the beacon but i got more tasks to do in the same episode to make the episode more entertaining but i guess this is all i got for this episode i hope you all enjoyed episode number nine and i will see you to the next one boys because in the new episode i might just start doing some mega base progress and actually start in a new island and use my new items <laughs> cobblestone and deep slate and stuff and maybe get some concrete because the base is gonna need lots of colors and beautiful destructions so bye bye homies i'll see you to the next episode Episode. Let me throw the egg. Whee! I don't see the egg. Where is it? Okay. <laughs>